Hello students, today we will learn about algorithm and flowchart. In our daily life, we carry out certain steps in a sequential order to perform a task and to get a desired result. Let us understand the above statement with the help of the examples given below. The process of brushing teeth is as follows. Number 1. Take your brush from the shelf. Number 2. Turn on the tap of your wash basin. Number 3. Rinse the brush and turn off the tap. Number 4. Apply toothpaste on the brush. Number 5. Start brushing your teeth. Number 6. Clean the brush and rinse your mouth. Number 7. Take your tongue cleaner. 8. Clean your tongue. 9. Rinse your mouth again and clean your tongue cleaner. Number 10. Finally, you get the desired result, that is, shiny white teeth and a clean mouth. Similarly, to solve any problem on a computer, we analyze and understand the nature of the problem first. We plan the input and apply the appropriate methods step by step to get the desired result. This step-by-step -step procedure to solve any problem is called algorithm. Alright students, let us arrange in order. Number 1. Giving money to shopkeeper. Number 2. Riding on bicycle and go to market. Number 3. Taking money from your mother. Number 4. Coming back home. Number 5. Taking chocolate. Now, let us first understand algorithms. Algorithm is a set of sequential steps to solve any logical or a mathematical problem. Algorithm is always written in simple language and precise manner so that anyone can understand the steps. Algorithm to set your school bag. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Open your bag. Step 3. Take out your school diary. Step 4. See the timetable. Step 5. Go to your bookshelf. Step 6. Take out the books and notebooks according to the next day schedule. Step 7. Keep them in the bag. Step 8. Close the bag. Step 9. Stop. Students know the fact that algorithm means a precise rule or a set of rules specifying how to solve some problems. Example 2. Algorithm to calculate the sum and average of three numbers. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Input first number A. Step 3. Input second number B. Step 4. Input third number C. Step 5. Find the sum of three numbers. A plus B plus C. Step 6. Find the average. A plus B plus C. Divided by 3. Step 7. Print average. Step 8. Stop. Example 3. Algorithm to compare two numbers and find the greater one. Step 1. Start. Step 2. Input two numbers and store them in A and B. Step 3. Check whether A is equal to B or not. If true, then go to step 4. Else, go to step 5. Step 4. Print, double quote in, both numbers are equal. Double quote close and go to step 8. Step 5. Compare A and B. If A is greater than B, go to step 6. Else, go to step 7. Step 6. Print, double quote in, A is greater, double quote close and go to step 8. Step 7. Print, double quote in, B is greater, double quote close and go to step 8. Step 8. Stop. Let us discuss Introduction to Flowcharts Flowchart is a pictorial representation of steps or an algorithm used for solving a particular problem. 
To create a flow chart, different boxes are used which are connected to each other with the help of flow lines. Students note that flow charts assist in finding and removing errors at different steps and in different phases of the program. Let us now explain the different boxes and their function in flow chart. Start or stop box. It is used in the beginning and at the end of the flow chart. Input or output box. It is used for accepting inputs or giving output of the program. Processing box. It is used for writing the processing instructions and doing calculations. Decision and condition box. It is used for checking or applying any condition in the program. Flow lines. These arrows are used to connect the various geometrical symbols in a flow chart. Flow lines show the direction in which the program is moving. Connectors. These are used to connect one part of flow chart to another. Students note that flow charts are helpful in analyzing the logic of problems. Let us discuss simple flow charts. Example 1. Process of making tea. Start. Take a pan, water, sugar, tea leaves and milk. Put a pan on the gas burner and pour water into it. Turn on the gas burner. Add some tea leaves when water boils. Add some sugar and milk. After processing, take off the pan. Strain it in a cup and serve the hot tea. Stop. Students can explain the process of preparing a vegetable sandwich. Example 2. Calculate the sum, difference and product of two numbers. Start. Input two numbers A and B. Sum equal to A plus B. Print sum. Difference equal to A minus B. Print difference. Product equals to A into B. Print product. Stop. Let us know more. The general direction of flow in any flow chart is from top to bottom or left to right. Example 3. Draw a flow chart to find the greater number among the two numbers A and B. Start. Input A and B. Is A equals to B? If yes, then both numbers are equal. Stop. If no, then is A greater than B. If yes, then A is greater than B. If no, then B is greater than A. Flow charts become complex if the program logic is complicated. You may be required to draw the flow chart again if it needs alterations. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve any problem. An algorithm is written in a simple language. A flowchart is a pictorial representation of the steps to solve a problem. It is helpful in analyzing the logic of a problem. Start or stop box is used in the beginning and at the end of the flowchart. Input or output box is used for feeding input or getting output of the program. Processing box is used for writing the processing instructions and doing calculations.